as a consumer when i go to the mark to the market to buy a product uh, let's say d-link or any of these products any of the accessories how do i judge whether what i'm buying is a genuine product or not now the you know many brands have come up with their own uh, you know apps or you know their own uh, uh, various uh, holograms or stickers somebody is putting that somebody is you know using some kind of barcode where you can scan and they take it to their uh, e-store or web store and all so that's how consumer do it but uh, as a consumer you know uh, out of say 100 people buying any hard drive uh, only three or four would do that so 96 or 97 would not do that and out of 100 maybe as my experience you know 10 would be counterfeit so out of 10 the consumer would not even go to that website or not even scan because he wouldn't think yes because as i told he is trusting the shopkeeper hundred percent uh, so at the end of the day you know he is buying a counterfeit product and the uh, as you say you know the companies are also are aware of this but they don't have a solution for that as of now it becomes very important that you are able to somehow incentivize the consumer to actually do the verification. Yes. So that is a very important aspect which companies probably need to look at. So is Clomax doing something in that regard? Is Clomax trying, I understand you are newly starting in some of the accessories, but are you also looking at in the future goal of preventing uh, any kind of counterfeiting that could happen? So that's what, as we are working with Aquis, uh, our basic concept was that when we got into the accessory segment, we thought that there are lots of you know counterfeiting happening and uh, the brands were giving loyalty programs by manually calculating. So by say after five or six months or seven months and all that stuff. So now when uh, we started with Aquis, we have an option of you know scanning, uh, the consumer can scan or the electrician can scan or the system integrator or the dealer can scan and then we have added uh, you know uh, loyalty programs like where we are giving them Paytm points or you know after certain, uh, for each product we have you know categorized and on the uh, depend on the uh, value of the product we are giving them the incentive. Suppose their product value is say 500 so we are giving them some two or three percent on that if their value is more so they accordingly when he is uh, you know buying uh, various other products at the end of the month say he has got some thousand points so which converts into thousand uh, paytm uh, uh, points or say we are you coming up with hel free helmets and uh, bag uh, different goodies Right. So that is, uh, you know, encrypted with the app what uh, Aquis has done for us. Right. So you're also not just addressing the problem of counterfeiting, but you're also making sure people verify and not just trust the yeah. uh, shop. So what happens is, uh, as in uh, manufacturer or a distributor or a, and a dealer or a brand owner, what would I look for is I should know that where is my product uh, going, who is buying it how many times he is buying it. So when we started with uh, this Aquis app and you know, where we come to know that yes, if somebody is buying at say XYZ in somewhere in uh, Andhra Pradesh, Tirupati. So when he is giving his location and address, we come to know that yes, this guy has bought uh, this uh, 4G router of Clomax from us on this date. So then maybe after one month he is buying again and he is buying cable or SMPS. So, that adds to us that it becomes easy for us as a marketing uh, strategy that yes, this person in uh, Tirupati has bought so many products from us at this time. So we know the frequency of his buying. So accordingly, we can also you know set uh, our targets on that. So uh, when we started, we never had this kind of idea. But when we got through this uh, Aquis, we just wanted to try. I was not even sure that will it work or no. But after you know applying this kind of product, you know uh, our consumers are happy, our system integrators are happy, electrician is happy, dealers are happy because uh, you know many companies in this industry they tend to you know uh, uh, deviate from what they have committed or they take more time. Suppose I have achieved something uh, say for three months, I have achieved the target. 
to for me to get those kind of benefits it takes 9 months for them to release it right. so as a uh, distributor i would feel bad but when in clumax what we have done is uh, it is a frequency of 15 days 1 month 2 months accordingly how they are buying the products they are uh, same uh, the uh, time they are uh, you know incentive wise so they are really happy about it it's like a real time uh, incentive uh, real time incentive for them so they are happy that is yes, i am sold a, a product worth 1 lakh and i am getting 3 or 4000 worth of goods or whatever is the paytm points or free stuff we have come up with all this thing so uh, exactly. that's how we are you know uh, trying to increase our market okay. and so, acquis has, uh, has really helped us and it has made uh, good uh, you know uh, thing in our customer also that yes we are caring about the product we are also caring about the consumers Right. So as a consumer, suppose somebody is buying, so he has got the option of you know scanning it, and he will know that yes, when was this manufactured, where right. was it manufactured, what is the warranty period. So there are so many things which a small uh, label is doing for us, right. and that's how I think maybe down the line, if it is really good, we might uh, implement in all our products. And so, let's so right now we implemented in uh, I think SMPS or ah uh, we have implemented. See, it was a trial thing. So we first wanted to analyze right. what the consumer is looking at. Is he comfortable with the uh, uh, label? Is he really happy with it? So then we start first only started with the SMPS. SMPS is uh, a backbone of any CCTV. Right. CCTV setup. It this uh, it is like power supply to the CCTV. and that is like if you are buying uh, say a set of uh, cctv you will have to buy a smps so when you are selling say one camera you are automatically selling one smps right. so the market for smps is huge so that we started with that then the response was very good people started uh, you know they were happy with their scanning as in company i was happy who is buying my product so then we then started with the 4g routers so now we'll be adding to the cables also cctv cables and the fourth what hard disk monitor whatever we do it in our branch so it will be obvious so once the consumer is happy with one product automatically it's like you know we'll put it in others and make sure that they are happy and we are also at the end of the day we are looking for uh sales we are looking for see profits i would not say now but maybe 2 3 years down the line but now we want to establish our brand and whatever is possible we are doing it